Hey, so let's get one disclaimer out of the way at the top of this video. I'm not a repair technician, nor do I have the expertise that those folks have. I have, however, experience doing small things on my saxophone to make sure it's playing properly. I want to share one of the first adjustments that I learned about years ago. On most of your saxophones, you'll have two adjustment screws close to your F key, right by your right hand index finger. The top adjustment screw will hold down your G sharp key while you're playing any of the notes that are using your right hand index, middle, or ring fingers. So for instance, if you're playing a middle F sharp, you should be able to have your G sharp key down without affecting the pitch or the timbre of the note. Same goes with any note that uses any of these fingers while you're playing. Your ring finger likely will not give you as clean of a seal because there's no standard fingering where you will only have to have your right hand ring finger down. So there's really no need for this key to hold down the G sharp key completely. Now the second adjustment screw is right below that one. This one allows your right hand middle index and ring finger to press down your bis key. And this is located right below the B key at the top half of the horn. Now, if this is not closing completely, you may notice that your one and one B flat fingering doesn't respond very well. Or your altissimo G might not respond very well if you're using this fingering right here. So essentially, when you have four down, it should completely seal the tone hole right below your bis key. So how do you know if these screws need to be adjusted? Well, if you are playing your low F sharp, F, E, E flat, D, and low C, and they all feel good, but your low C sharp, your low B and B flats, they don't feel good. The issue could be a number of different things, but it's quite possible that your G sharp adjustment screw is not properly adjusted. Here's a simple test you can try at home. Start by playing a low D and tap your G sharp key. Remember, if this screw is regulated correctly, your G sharp key should not open because your right hand is down. So as you're pressing down your G sharp key, do you hear any changes in the pitch or the timbre? If you hear any changes, the G sharp key is opening when it shouldn't be. So what I would do is take a small flathead screwdriver and turn the screw clockwise to tighten it. I would suggest using small quarter turns of the screw so you don't run the, the risk of going too far. Now, after you make your first quarter turn, do the same test again. Play your low D and tap your G sharp key. Now, if you're noticing still a change in the pitch of your low D, give it another turn. Repeat until you don't hear any changes at all. Now, there are negative consequences for going too far, so be careful that you're using small turns. That's gonna lend you the best results. Now, before we continue, I just wanted to take a quick moment to ask you to consider subscribing to my channel. By subscribing, you'll be helping to support the content I create, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So if you're enjoying this video so far and you wanna see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you'll never miss out on any of my latest uploads. Thanks for your support and now let's get back to the video. Now for the top adjustment screw, we're gonna use a similar test. If you notice that your one and one B flat doesn't speak properly or your altissimo G is not working well, again, it could be a number of things, but it could be an issue with this best adjustment key being out of alignment. This time, we're gonna use our one and one B flat fingering, and then with our middle finger, we're gonna tap the bis key. And if this screw is set properly, you shouldn't hear any change at all. However, if you do, you might need to tighten this adjustment screw. Now, same as before, I would suggest using small turns so you're not going too far. It's important to avoid this. So how do you know if you're going too far? Chances are, if you're tightening things too much, you'll get noticeable leaking in your right hand. So if after tightening your screws, you're noticing that the right hand pitches are getting worse with response, you may have gone too far. So with all of that said, if you've never done this before, I would suggest that you take your horn to a professional who can repair your horn and make sure everything is solid. From there, 
you can tweak it if you're running into these issues of your screws getting out of adjustment. I don't recommend that you just go and start tightening things down. You'll run into a ton of problems and you might not know how to reverse what you did. For the young player, I recommend that you find a technician to help you with this. However, if you're backstage before performance and something is just not quite right with your saxophone, it's always good to have some basic skills and some basic knowledge in your back pocket that you can pull out to get you through your show or your practice session. So really, that's it for today. I hope this was helpful. So I'll see you next time.